Uh, now, I'd like to invite Mesa City Clerk Holly Mosley to come onto the stage uh, to begin the swearing-in program uh, of, of, that we're here to celebrate tonight. Uh, each Mesa City Council member will be sworn in by Ms. Mosley, followed by an opportunity pr to provide remarks. We'll begin with the swearing-in of Vice Mayor Jen Duff. Vice Mayor Duff, please join us on stage. Vice Mayor Duff is joined this evening by her daughter-in-law, Victoria Martinez, and granddaughters, Bella and Elizabeth. Uh, Jen Duff began her first term on the Mesa City Council in January of 2019, uh, serving and has served as Vice Mayor since uh, 2021. A Mesa native with British family roots that go back to Falcon Field during World War II, Vice Mayor Duff is very committed to her community. Following her six years as a professional bass angler, I think we all knew that, right? Um, she started her business, Jeff International, Inc., of which she is still the proud president and owner. A graduate of Mesa High School and Mesa Community College, she was awarded the Mesa Community College Hall of Fame Alumni Achievement Award for her work supporting the downtown Mesa community. She also served on the board of directors for the Idea Museum and co-founded The Rail, Retail, Arts, Innovation, and Livability Community Development Corporation. With her husband cheering her on, her passion for a bright future for Mesa will be on full display in her second term. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Jen Duff, do solemnly swear. I, Jen Duff, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That, that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution and laws. And the Constitution and laws. Of the state of Arizona. Of the state of Arizona. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And defend them against all enemies. And defend them against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the Office of Council Member District 4. Of the Office of Council Member District 4. Of the City of Mesa, Arizona. Of the City of Mesa, Arizona. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank if you. If you'd step aside. We're going to have Jen Duff sign her loyalty oath. You know, as I was um, sitting here listening to the entertainment, and um, they were remarkable, by the way, and um, thinking about everything, you know, that's happened this past year has been a blur. It's been a blur, but I am so honored and privileged to work with such a great city. Not only the management and staff directors, dedicated and, and uh, um, very talented, but our whole entire community in Mesa, I'm, I'm so very proud of. And in this moment, I just want to acknowledge the perfection of just knowing that all is good and well. So I did prepare some remarks so before I stop rambling. Um, and just want to say Happy New Year and thank you. Thank you for the honor of continuing to represent District 4, the heart of Mesa, from this beautiful contemporary art center and to the local businesses and historic neighborhoods and the rich diversity of people and cultures. Thank you for the honor of representing you and the congratulations belongs to you too for you are at this table with me. Congratulations too to our newly elected council members, Alicia Goforth and Scott Summers. I'm committed to working with you, and also reigning council members Mark Freeman, Francisco Heredia, and Julie Spilsbury, and of course our Honorable Mayor John Giles. You know, today Mesa is making history. This is the first time we have had three women 
on Mesa City Council. <laughs> I am so thrilled, I am so thrilled, and I couldn't be more proud than to be part of this moment of Mesa's history and to serve with the other two fabulous um, women council members. Um, and it's especially touching for me to share this moment with my granddaughters that are here and seated. Um, it's a truly a moment that we are making progress. <laughs> you know, it takes, all of us, men and women, in every race, ethnicity, social class, and gender identity and preference, working together to make uh, progress. And we will succeed when we're all at the table. You know, campaigns have a huge impact on the ones we love. And I wanna think, okay, I'm gonna do a mayor thing, I think. <laughs> okay, here, here I go. I wanna thank my parents for their support and patience, um, despite their own challenges. When I should have been there for them, they were there for me. It was heart-wrenching. But today, I'm thrilled to say that my mother's cancer is in remission. She has always exemplified the perseverance that I have strived for myself. So thank you, Mom, for being strong enough for the both of us. She's sitting here tonight, I'm so honored. And of course, Mia Moore, Yvonne Martinez, which isn't able to be here tonight, but he's now mi esposa. Um, so I, I know he'll be hearing me, and so I must say thank you for loving me and taking my hand in marriage this past year and blessing me with this beautiful family. His love is so big, it just takes my breath away. In addition, I have a long list of volunteers and community members that have made my re-election possible, and many of you are here today. I acknowledge you and thank you. It takes a village, and I am forever grateful for your support and endearing friendship. You know, campaigns are grueling, like I mentioned, but the best part of campaigning was reconnecting in our neighborhoods this year. For the last two years of my term, I've been confined to digital means, and to be one-on-one -on -one was very meaningful for me. And I look forward to continuing those connections in person for rich dialogues to continue transforming our city to be one of the best places in the United States to live, work, and thrive. My drive to run for city council four years ago in 2018 was to see downtown Mesa and the surrounding neighborhoods return to the glory days that I remember as a child and to transform it into a contemporary city leading the 21st century. We've made progress. Today, downtown's Arts and Innovation District, anchored by the Mesa Arts Center here, ASU, Benedictine University, and many other entities is becoming an ecosystem of opportunity through education, entrepreneurial, and small business support, col collaboration, co-working, and incubation spaces to drive Mesa's economic sustainability. And my work will not be done until the entire district is part of the success. Today, Mesa's Promise program offers grants for trade certifications and associate degrees. Our Workforce Development Center prepares and connects residents for promising careers. An economic development focus on strengthening the Broadway Road Corridor, Business Corridor, will ensure workforce opportunities are here, right here in Central Mesa. Last but not least, our environmental sustainability protecting our water supplies and air quality, mitigating heat, and 
improving pedestrian and bike pathways, adding green spaces, reducing our carbon footprint, and much, much more as outlined in a climate action plan. Together, we will create a sustainable city economically, equitably, and environmentally. May Mesa continue to be a leader in policy and planning with our family values to the forefront, a deep sense of community, honoring our rich history, and celebrating our beautiful diversity. For together, we are Mesa. Thank you for the privilege to serve you.